What's going on everyone? Welcome on into today's video. We're going to be showing you how to trade the micro crude oil futures on trading view. We're looking at the micro WTI crude oil futures for May 2023 uh, as the actual date of the contract. We're going to show you how this works, what you need to know, and then how to actually execute some trades and do a live trade example here on the trading view platform we're not going to open up other tabs and have brokers pulled up no we're going to do it all here and we're going to show you how to do that here in this video thanks so much for watching the tc trading channel first things first if you do not have trading view there'll be a link for trading view down below in the description box of this video there's also a 30-day free trial that you can get access to pretty much any plan you would like to we use the premium plan and that's what we use, but you don't need to use the highest paying plan to do this, okay? Just make sure you are aware of that. Okay, a couple of things that we've got to pay attention to beforehand. Make sure you go up into the Explore Our Plan section of TradingView. We're using, again, the premium version. That's this. Don't get too caught up in that stuff, but if you scroll down towards the bottom, You'll need to subscribe to real-time markets. Now, what does this mean? You need to get access to real-time quotes for the futures that you want to trade, okay? So as I scroll down, you can see that I'm subscribed right here to CME Group, E-mini included, these futures, CME, CBOT, COMEX, NYMEX. It's costing me $5 a month, okay? So if you want to get access to certain markets, certain futures, or this or that, just pay attention to where you are, or at least the real-time quotes that you have on TradingView that you're subscribed to. It's not a super expensive piece, but it's something that you'll need to have access to, okay? So this is me subscribing to more stuff. I don't need to subscribe to more stuff, but if you wanted to, you do it here. X out of this, what you can do is click on the learn more, okay? When you click on the learn more section, what you'll be able to do is, is see more about what they offer you. And I highly would recommend that, okay? The reason why I say that is because if you want to get access to crude oil futures, for example, you will need to subscribe to the proper quotes. And this could go for anything else. If you're looking for, let's say, you want to, you know, trade, I don't know, corn futures or whatever, you know, you'll need to know where you're trading the corn futures and you need to make sure you have the right access, okay? So really quick, that is where I will go or that is the plan um, or this is the futures package that I've subscribed to, okay? So we covered that. Again, it's the CME group right here, okay? So again, this is also delayed data that we're gonna give it to you 10 minutes later for free. So again, we don't want delayed data, we want real-time data. So that's what I subscribe to. Once you've got that covered, you will now be able to trade the contracts that we are looking at right here. Now this, of course, is a contract that expires May 2023 there are expiration dates. You cannot just trade the same contract past this date. So as time goes on, you'll probably get a notification. This is no longer a tradable symbol. Oh, wait, let me check the date. Oh, makes sense. You'll go back in and you'll now edit that. How do you do that? Let's cover that first. Let's now load up the contract we want to trade. Then we'll talk about how we actually trade it, okay? That's the next step of the process, okay? Let me get rid of this guy down here. That'll come in handy in the next step, what we have at the bottom left of our screen. So if I go to the search bar here on TradingView on the advanced charts, okay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in MCL, okay? Now you're going to see micro WTI crude oil futures, okay? We're on the NYMEX, the New York Mercantile, Mercantile, that's how you say it, exchange, okay? So we have subscribed to those quotes. We've got that. There is an arrow. Click on that arrow. Click on the arrow, you go, whoa, whoa, what happened here? This is exactly what I'm talking about. So see how there's all of these different dates, okay, that we have right here? I am filming this video in the spring of 2023. So the next closest expiration contract will be May. And because I day trade this, I'm not swinging, that's fine. I'll just, you know, use the current expiration or the shortest expiration that I have, right? So May is fine. But eventually, May will no longer be tradable, and we'll go to June, and then July, and August, and we'll keep moving down the list as time goes on. One thing to note, MCL1 with an exclamation point, or MCL2 exclamation point. These are continuous, okay, continuous contracts. You can't trade these, 
okay? So if you wanna just have it pulled up and never have to update your watch list, you can pull this up and it will always be crude oil futures. They'll just kind of always automatically pull up the next contract for you. The current contract will be in front on one and then the next contract will be in front on two. Don't get too confused there. You don't trade these. You need to trade something with an actual date. And so for right now, May will be the next or the first one, the current contract that we've got in front of us, right? As right now, it is April 6th when I am filming this video. So I will click on that one. But for you, if it's later on down the road, click on the next one that pops up, okay? The first or the closest one till expiration. So now we got this contract pulled up, great. How do you trade it? Go down to the bottom left, okay? I'm gonna go in here really quick. I just logged out of my account, but go down to trading panel, okay? So here's where you're gonna go down, trading panel. Now I'm gonna expand this window. Okay, here it is. So trading view has partnered up with all of the brokers that are currently on the screen. Now, of course, if you're watching this later on, there probably will be more, and I would imagine they will continue to expand this over time. I currently use Tradeovate, okay, right here. You can use Interactive, you can use TradeStation. There's a ton more that came from, okay? Depends on what you want to use. I would say that in terms of ease of use, uh, fees, and for most people, for most people, especially in the US, you're probably gonna go with, you know, you're probably gonna wanna go with Tradeovate, TradeStation, or Interactive Brokers, cheaper fees, uh, less margin requirements, and you can pretty much get started with, you know, a hundred bucks, even less in some cases and trading micro e-mini futures, which is kind of cool, um, to get the foot, the feet wet, right in the game. So I have an account with trade of eight. So I'm going to connect my account. You'll have to do this separately. This is the only piece that you'll have to do outside of trading view. But once you've got an account with one of these platforms and you can now log into that account on TradingView, which is pretty straightforward because once I click on connect, I'll enter my information, my username, and password, and I'm logged in. Maybe there's a two-factor authentication. You'll get an email and you know, confirm the email. Okay, great, easy enough. Once you're in, you're in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That's your next step. Okay, cool, now I have done so. You can then even see you know, the current cash in your account, all that stuff, when you open up and click on your account and maximize that panel. So you'll now see Trade of Eight on the bottom of my screen. Okay, with a green connected, I guess, dot. That tells me, great, I am good. I am now connected. As long as there's money in my account, I am subscribed to real-time quotes on TradingView. I'm subscribed to real-time quotes on my broker, okay, which is a pain. Yes, I understand, but these are the fees associated with futures trading. There's a lot of perks as well. If you get good at it, a lot of perks, tax benefits, no pattern day trade rules, so you got unlimited, really essentially almost unlimited uh, access to trading. Almost, I will say. Uh, of course, if you run out of money, that changes the game. Uh, okay, so now we're on this page. We got the massive screen pulled up uh, or the big screen. Of course, I'm using a larger screen. So if you're on a mobile, I know it might be a little small, but I'm sorry. Um, unfortunately, that's what I've got in front of me right now. Now... I'm gonna go over to the right-hand side where we have these two little arrows where it says order panel. I can use the depth of market, the DOM, if I want to as well. It's kind of like the price ladder. Uh, I don't personally wanna use that for this example. I'm gonna go ahead into the order panel, but you can use both. And there's actually a video on the channel, I believe, uh, going over what those do and all that stuff when it comes to trading view. So now what you'll see is this, okay? The contract is at the top left. My broker is also after the comma right here on this trade panel, the order panel. Okay, now I'm good. So here what I can go ahead and do is market buy-in, market limit or limit buy-in, stop orders, stop limit orders. There's a lot of stuff we can do here. So let's just say, I'm looking at the 30 minute chart here. I'm gonna go to a five minute chart and let's see. Let's say, okay, I think we are breaking out on crude oil. I'm gonna go long for this breakout. Now, of course, it's also kind of at resistance. Maybe that's wrong. Let's say I think we're gonna break out. Pressure to the upside, we're gonna go. I want to get in. I might go market buy. Make sure I click on buy, market, units. How many contracts would I wanna go ahead and buy? Okay, now take profit and stop loss. I'm gonna go ahead and enter those in, okay? I'm gonna select those boxes. I can set it to 50 ticks for take profit, stop loss at 25, automatically a two to one risk reward. That's what this little two means. Or I can go to price, or I can go by dollar amount, or I can go by percentage. It's really up to you at the end of the day. So 
Looks like we're seeing a little resistance here. But let's just say I think we're still going to break out. I want to go long, which could bite me, uh, come back to bite me. We'll see. If I go ahead and do this, let's go ahead and do this for you so you can see what happens. Again, it's going to automatically enter in or set my take profit and stop loss. Again, we are market buying in one contract. We're in down two bucks. There are fees associated with this as well. What we need to understand is a stop loss right here that I have set. I can now adjust, take profit. Maybe I want to take my profit up here. I don't know where I want to take it. This might not be the best trade, but to be honest, it's an example. If I can make a dollar out of this, I'll be happy. Okay. And if I don't, all I ask is a thumbs up on the video because I'm taking the hit for you. Um, whether it's a couple of dollars, each cent, each cent that we move is essentially $1. So another key piece. Okay. Now that my orders are here, I can get rid of this order panel to make it bigger. So if I entered in at, what is this? 80, 62, I believe is the number of the price I got in at each cent we move is $1. So on the micro WTI crude oil futures. Okay. We're pushing now. Each cent, move this cell down here in case it gets a pop, is a dollar. So if I enter at $80.62, which is where my entry is on the right-hand side right here, and it goes to $80.70, before we talk about fee or before you even think about fees, and that's going to be dependent upon your broker and your plan and whatnot, which I'm not going to dive too deep into here because that, again, comes down to your broker that you use. If it makes an eight-cent move up, that's an $8 profit minus the fees that I'm going to see on in my account. Okay. Each cent is a dollar. So I think it makes it super easy when you're trading this stuff. Cause you can kind of zoom out on the chart and say, Hey, you know, or, or zoom in if you like to scalp and just take more contracts. Maybe my stop loss is down here. I know, okay, that's going to be about a dollar risk. Okay. I'm going to risk about a hundred dollars on this. My take profits about $1 and 50 cents. The upside. Okay. I'm going to look for a, a dollar risk for a 150 reward, meaning that I'm going to make 150 if it hits my target upside. I'm going to risk a hundred bucks if it hits my downside. Super, super straightforward and simple. I'm going to go ahead now and zoom in, give me a second to load. I'm going to adjust this and I'm going to see if I can just get taken out <laughs> for a couple bucks on this crude oil play. Boom, just took me out. So maybe it goes for more. I don't really care. It wasn't something that I was really eyeing up a lot of choppy action today. So not something that I was super into, but I wanted to show you how it works for the purpose of this video. So I made like five bucks or six bucks on that. Okay. Six bucks profit. I think subtract fees. Okay. Call it five roughly. Now that's how it works. Uh, again, it could do the same thing on the downside, right? If you wanted to do a stop order, I'll do this sometimes. Let's say I have this blue line up here. I want to play a breakout there. I'll go stop a buy stop. And I'll see if I can go. It's 80, 83. So I'll enter this order in. Let's go 80, 85, for example. I'll have to confirm the breakout, take profit, stop loss, add those in, click on buy. So now the order is going to populate. So I have a buy stop here. It's before it fills, it's going to tell me if I have my stop loss here, I'm risking 25 bucks. If I go up to the top, my take profits here, I'm going to make 50 if it hits. So that's kind of how I can visualize it and how you can use you know, the platform to visualize. And if you zoom out, you know, I'll adjust your charts you can get a better view of where you're looking at for your order. So I like to use that sometimes. And I can do the same thing on a sell, sell stop order for a breakdown to the downside um, to kind of set your orders up. And uh, I always, I, I, I honestly, I always like to have the take profit and stop selected. I may adjust them after, but I always like to have it just in case, you know, because for me, sometimes, you know, if, if you walk away for a second, you don't want to get caught, you know, with your pants down. Um, just have a, have a risk in mind. Of course, everyone's, you know, different and, uh, how, you know, plays it however they see fit, but that's how it works. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Again, trading view link down below. If you don't have a platform, if you want to get signed up um, to do this, I think it's one of the best, if not one of, I think it's the best charting platform in the game. And now with the ability to trade on this platform, it's awesome. It just makes it so much easier because I use it every day. Great that it in, you know, incorporates a broker uh, and uh, I've had no issues with the connection and all that great stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.